Straight out of Compton, original streets Grew up with the lion, see what the criminals see Now he a giant and a pivotal key Got it down to a science, this the visual streets He came up with bullet, he came up with turtle Live life to the fullest, he put it all in the journal We dodging them bullets, we jumping them hurdles It's the hood postman, we in the streets universal uh. For the postman, Professor Billy Mill This is not a glorification or a glamorization This is an education you can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and fifteenth. Lock the door. Professor Melly Mel, the hook post man. I'm back with Crip Face. The homie Ice Low. Um, what was that when that happened to him? How did you feel about that circumstance? Um, shit, it was, it, I was hurt, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's when all the homies like, was like in the hood at the time, and it was like, I'm mad, like, oh, homie, you can't come back to the hood, and, so, and all this old crazy stuff, so the homie was like, so when we went to the funeral, um, you know, because he had just had, it was, he just had a sign with Easy at the time, or something, or something, something was about to go on, something was about to happen that was going to blow everybody up, you know what I'm saying? At that time, so uh, so I'm at the funeral. You know, I got two pistols on me. OG homies like uh, six, uh, L Ray. Everybody was like, man, don't worry about it. nothing. Little nigga saying. So after the funeral, I go back to the hood. You know, what I'm saying I had a little, you know, what I'm saying a little rumble with, 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 with one of the little homies. You know, got him out the way real quick, and it was nothing. So back in the hood after that, I'm like, okay, okay. You no, know, it could have been me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, even niggas mad said, "Oh, it could have been show for." I'm way in the back of the apartment. I didn't know this show was going to happen. No, we never do because. Yeah. Uh, uh, and here's the thing, man. We grow up doing what we do, and we don't realize that every day we place ourselves in victim status. Yeah, exactly. And what I mean by victim status that whatever's going on in the streets, we have absolutely no control over it, right? Exactly. But we do have control of ourselves. We can remove ourselves from that environment or that situation. But if you standing in it, when it comes, you either absorb it or you give it. Exactly. Is that just how it go? Um, so give me a fight story when you was at Centennial. Oh man, um, one day like I'm on, I'm on the field, and um, one of them was like, hey, um. And then uh and the uh, uh we're gonna get well today. So I got into it with him. Okay, I'm like, all right. So um I missed a, I'm in Mr. Pack class, it's like first period with the homegirl from the hood. She was fucking with a nigga from Fro Town. So we're sitting in the class. And so like uh two niggas ran up in there. It was like, hey, crab ass nigga, we finna get you today. I was like, all right. So we got to fight it. So, uh, you know, I fired on him, boom, we fired back, boom, so we get the mom, we get the mom, we tearing up desks and shit. So, uh, I'm left in it, so I ended up, you know what I'm saying, I knocked him out, boom. So I ran out, I went out to class, I let him went straight out right there, boom. So, I went and got my little 3A out of the locker because at the time, that's when I was the uh, principal, he was from Capanello. So, he had the little one, they had his one and the one and everybody down at the time I was on. So, I was smart, so I thought, uh, I put my shit in the car, or I leave it in the car, or I put it on, because I never ate. I didn't want to see that blood walking shit on on lunchtime. They out there playing the blood, the new blood music, and doing that little blood walk. So I always go, you know, I go smoke my little one on the field, on the football field, by the gym and shit, and um, take my little one, eat my, you know, or I leave and eat my little lunch, or I get the lunch from there, or I leave off campus and go, you know, um, hit the spot, in the hood, which was known as Smile Burgers. And then come back to school, or you know, just chill on the field. So I looked up. Um, police came. They called the police on me. Called my mom. So had to come get me. Now they didn't call the police on you. Man, press charges to the jail. Yeah, they didn't see that softball coming, man. A lot yeah. of people know it. If they don't look for it, if they don't know, recognize it when they see it, they won't even know what hit them. Yeah, I've um, seen that happen many times. So, uh, Danny Manny, um, that. Uh, at the little boxing, you um, know, little shit in the garage. We set up, we used to teach us, and the homie guy, uh, little scrap, this scrap, his brother used to teach us uh, taekwondo, all, that, all the good stuff. And 
that Danny Manning was a squabbler, man. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was like that, man. Rest in peace to Danny Manning. Um, yeah, you, I, and you just mentioned Big Scrab, Little Scrab. I forgot about yeah, that, right, man. Right, yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's my guy right there, man. Um, yeah, did you know Skull? Skull from Azar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. From Azar? Yeah. Yeah. Man, they had a lot of stories about old Skull. Oh, yeah, with the, the stencil cord. That's his name. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he, did, he told her, we used to be love. Uh, we used to be love. And um, one of my little homeboys, uh, I said on Canuff at the other end, his auntie was a smoker. And so we all around there in the AG, we chilled. And I said, uh, I said, you better go get your auntie, she about to get fucked by a scrub. So they didn't listen to me. I already know. We next thing we know, we hear somebody hollering, bloody murder. He back there in the in the yard, backyard wearing her ass up. And she hollering, we laugh, and I'm like, and the homie got mad. He went to file like, "Well, you better, you better go over here." I told you, go get him. He didn't listen, huh? Yeah, listen, man. <laughs> yes, Skull had a reputation, man. <laughs> That's funny. And back there tearing that lady up. That shit was funny. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I told him. I said, "Man, she about, you about to wear your auntie out, boy. You about to come out walking funny and all that." Uh huh. Because I used to be. It was like that's like home. That's you know, as as that right there. You know, they go right through Newark. Right there every day. I'm telling what the homie does flow from Anzac every day. That was my we play baseball. What about Big Little Pat? Big Little Pat, I ain't seen him in a while. I ain't seen him in a minute. Uh -huh. Since the last, the last, the last time I seen Big Little Pat when uh, when he got smashed in between the two cores. Oh man, that was the last time. Then I seen him one time after that at one of the homies' room, and I think that was it. Was he messed up from that? No, nah, no, nah, he was. Uh, he had healed up. He just couldn't walk for a minute. He had pins in his leg. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow. Dang. So, um, talk to me about your rap career, bro. What, how did you get into that? You know, I mean, because I know a lot of people in game bang or where to come from their life. They got a lot of stories, and they able to take those stories and right. and make music with it. How is that for you? Man, I've been rapping since then. I like. Oh, hey, I've been rapping, and uh, man, uh, I done rap for uh, King T over there in Carver Park and brought all up. Yeah, I done rap for uh, over there, um, rapped over there and hit the spot. So you know Brad Dog? Yeah, I know Brad Dog. I know uh, <laughs> Bob, crazy ass Bob. Um, yeah. So who inspired you on the rap game? I mean, you know, what made you like, man, I can do this? Oh, uh, man, it should be easy. Okay. Me and Z coming to the hood. He was uh, coming over there to um, um, him and Ice Cube and the Suzuki Jeeps back in the day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they did get around, man. He was all over the place, man. Yeah, Rest man. in peace to Easy E. And that fall, he come over there on North Street, you know, six fold, and had a chill and get some weed and chop it up and, you know, give us, pass out $100 and shit, and go. Yeah, so I was, I, I, we kind of reported you build with him, though. Shit, man. Um, not really, I can't really say like too much. I can't. I, don't, I really didn't build too much of a rapport with him, but I just like his music. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, acknowledged him when he came around and shit. You know. Uh -huh. um, um, what made me rappers? The homie Ice Love rest in peace. So I want to be like that. The MCA, uh, the Quakes, and all that. You know, that's uh -huh. what. That's what kept me. Kept me afloat. The yeah, company had a lot of entertainers, man. A lot of people that's very talented. It's come out of Compton, and, and, and often it, it, they was they come out of some rough circumstances, you yeah. know, and they, and they became you know very valuable, you know. Not saying that they weren't valuable, but they, yeah, I get that, man. So, um, Mixed Master Spade, uh, King oh yeah, yeah that's what, that was that, that 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 was my influence. Like man, that one made me want to be MCA. MCA be with uh the Gangster Chronicles now. Yeah, over there was Norm Steele, you know. So what was it? CM, CMC, CMC, Compton Most Wanted, CMC. or CMW? What was it? Yeah, CMW. Yeah, Chili Chill, Chill. Yeah, yeah. That man it was a lot. Of, and we can't forget a uh, Toddy T. Toddy T. Yeah. Uh, the Battle Ram and all. That. I just seen him at uh, at uh, 
a gangster or something. Uh, we, uh, okay. Yeah, he was uh, he was uh, doing he was doing a DJ. Oh, you was there? I was there I, too. I, I, I went I, I went there. I saw it on YouTube. I saw, okay. I saw it live actually. Okay, okay. Somebody was going live. I can't believe who it was. Uh huh. Can't remember who it was, but it, it, somebody was going live at the funeral. Quick question: If you if you went to sleep right mm -hmm. while you were sleeping, a miracle happened, and you wake up, what would your life be, and what changed? What would you have changed? I have changed. So a miracle happened, whatever it is, right? Anything. Um, what would your life be and what would you change? <laughs> I want to change. I really want to change anything because my life is great. I just need to get I just need to be in a better position in life. So hmm. You know, so I can make a lot of things happen for my family. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm on. I know. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of before I start receiving these YouTube checks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. about it. Too, man. Yeah, you can start getting YouTube checks. It, 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 oh, so I uh, put my music on platform. I'm right now. I got, I got a book I'm working on. It's called "In the Mind of Face. And then um, I got an album I'm working on. Talk to me about the book. What inspired the book? Um. A young dude from uh, I want to think, I want to say from uh, from the north side of Long Beach, and um, he's young. He's been putting out a little a lot of dudes uh, books like you talking about face baby face yeah yeah baby face that's I I re interviewed him he's uh, he's a great he's a good guy we definitely just, work uh, with on that so he was just telling me like man um, you know finish up the book so I got like probably like three hundred some pages left to, to go and. Uh, I was gonna get at it, so you know. So he said he got a publisher and all that. So. Oh yeah, baby face will get it done for you. Yeah. He's from uh, Four Corner Block. Yeah, Four Corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I asked him. Yeah, shout out to baby face, man. Yeah, he told me to come. You know, I'm almost done, so I've been taking my time with that, and then trying to get this album done. I got like over forty songs I done wrote, and uh, I do it right here in my house, and uh, mix it down, and take it to the big studio to get it mixed down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So what's give me a story out the book that you could think of. Out the book. So uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, I was with uh, a couple of homies from uh, homies from Avalon and homies from Eleventh uh, of uh one one six Avalon or eight seven eight eight or five tray. Uh, not five tray, not car song. Okay. Uh, and eight seven. Yeah, right, yeah. Hey, 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 so she come in like, um, hey, let me see what them niggas got on. She like, hey, bro, she like, I'm like, hey, bro. I'm telling the niggas like, hey, this bitch, other niggas there. We crabs, we went, 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 let's get up out of here. So we parked around the corner because that day we were nowhere to park. And um, I'm looking, so I told the nigga, I tapped the homie, like, you see all the niggas with them red t shirts coming? So we, so we tried to get out the back door. So, um, when the missile was trying to get back, the armor force man, uh, what was I saying? Avalon? Not from Avalon. From Spook Town. Spook Town, he got hit. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, fuck it. So I grabbed him, I picked that nigga up, and I fucked around, around, and I was like, fuck it, nigga. Put him in the car, and um, so we did dog. We were all like, he was like, man, I'm just like, so we all started laughing. Like, Where'd you like, take him? The Killer King? Yeah, he was all right. He was like, man, I'm, I'm all right. So it, just, it just went through, though. It just went uh -huh. It missed all. It missed his bone and all. Yeah. So he was like, he's like, we all looked at each other. We just started laughing because we was hot. We were shot. We had to, we had to roast the leg. We was off that water. Uh, <laughs> same thing, right on. I always say. <laughs> it was off that death and duck. And I was like, man, we all looked at each other like that. Started laughing like a motherfucker. We dropped him off there. Man, y'all didn't realize where y'all was at in the beginning, or y'all never even tripped. I, I know where I was at. Uh -huh. It was just a fact. Then niggas, uh, 
Then I know he, he didn't have to even know he went over there. Asshole nephew. Yeah, that was a violation. I'm like, man, that's a man, that was a part, that was a file like a motherfucker, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, they, you, yeah, you gotta, you know, sometimes. I've been on a lot of suicide missions. I've been mean, on Rose Grand and Wilmington at the town burgers trip with all the strap. Just trying to fight niggas, fighting all trying to fight all the blood I seen. And um got into it with some niggas at Matt Fish Market. Was you high? Nah, I was just tripping. I used to roll around with, with that shit on me. And just be tripping. Every nigga I seen, that was off. Oh, so you just crip face all over. It don't matter. Man, crip face, man. I got the, you see, I got the big ass pH right here. And then the double S blank right here. Counting right there. Turn around. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. That's definitely. And then there. there, there, there definitely. Yeah. yeah. You definitely locked in. Oh, Are you sleeved up? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, not sleeved up, but it's, it's kind of filled and the stomach, everything else is filled. Okay. How many tattoos do you think you have? Like, uh, three, I want to say probably like 200. Oh, God. Two or three hundred. Yeah, you got a lot, man. Yeah. Sandman. I got pictures on my, pictures on my stomach. Like, I'm pictures. Portraits. Yeah. Uh, maybe Sandman from Carver, he's a tattoo artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get him to do something for me, too. Okay. But every time I hit him, he'd be like too busy. And I was gonna fuck with downtown Mac. And I got a nigga um, on the north end that I messed with right here. He, he did like 90%. A couple of my tests, so. Okay. Go ahead and lock the door. Lock the door. Kelly Mind is baby. baby, baby. Hmm. Proof of grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. Hub City. I'm a street nigga, streets fuck with me I'ma keep pushing products till the fans get me It's Guap off top, Diamond Cordier That nigga won't